Today on FNAF Unsolved, the story of a young girl who wishes to be beautiful and her demise from Afton's mysterious illusion technology. Welcome back to FNAF Unsolved. This is another mini episode for you and I've decided to organise the videos now. There will be five main episodes in each season. However, I will be making mini episodes like this one on top of that to cover the Fazbear Frights books. So this episode is technically episode 6 of season 2 and somewhat relates to episode 1. There's a full FNAF Unsolved playlist, so if you want to watch all of the episodes in chronological order, then you can. Anyway, let's get into today's video about the story of To Be Beautiful. William Afton was the founder of Afton Robotics, a company that purposefully created robots to kill children. You can think of murder as a three-step process, lure the child, kill the child, dispose of the body. His robots did all three. Circus Baby, programmed to kill kids, was able to lure Elizabeth using ice cream, kill her with her extending claw, and store the body inside of her. However, with animatronics, big and scary like these, why would any child want to go even near them? Circus Baby is over 7 feet, which is massive compared to a child. Fortunately, we have an answer as to why children are easily fooled, and it has a lot to do with the advanced technology of Afton Robotics. These days you could just lure kids with like, phones or something, dress up a robot as a Fortnite character and you've got yourself a full blender. That's all children do these days. Internet, internet, internet. Videos, videos, videos. Games, games, games. I guess I can't speak though. I'm here making a video about a game on the internet. I swear I'm not a child YouTube, don't sue me. This is the story of Sarah, an anxious schoolgirl who wishes to be beautiful so that her crush and other girls will notice and like her. One day, she walks past a car in a junkyard and sees a robotic arm sticking out of it. She investigates and brings the robot home to clean up and turn on. The robot introduces herself as Eleanor and as a thank you for cleaning her up, she grants Sarah her wish of being beautiful. Eleanor hands her a necklace and tells her never to take it off. After many nights of the robot singing her to sleep, Sarah starts to become more and more beautiful until she gets into the popular group at school and goes on a date with her crush. Don't you all just wish life was that easy? One night, she has a nightmare about Eleanor and wakes up to her standing at the end of her bed. Something doesn't seem quite right. One day she trips up at school and her necklace falls off. There's screaming as Sarah's new body becomes nothing but a pile of scraps. She drags herself to her garage to see her old body parts in bags, and she looks to Eleanor, who pushes a button and becomes an image of the old Sarah. She runs away into the distance as Sarah is simply in an inanimate pile of scraps forever. I'm telling you right now, this is the creepiest thing we have covered in all of the episodes of FNAF Unsolved. Imagine even walking into a room and just seeing yourself, let alone dissected and shoved into black blood-soaked bags. It's spine-chilling. Gives me tingles. This story says a lot about how advanced the technology of the robots concerned are. Eleanor was found in a junkyard, meaning she had probably been there a while. She also had the appearance of Circus Baby. Here's the question though. What's the connection between the necklace and the good old saying? be careful what you wish for. What does the technology convey about the nature of Afton Robotics? Let's look at the theories. Before we can continue, can we please mention Eleanor's neck? She's basically a giraffe, it's beautiful. In today's only theory, the necklace is nothing but an illusion disc, as we have mentioned before. The Funtime animatronics have these illusion discs, and they cause humans to hallucinate and change the appearance of things. Circus Baby has pins sticking out of her metallic body that also change her appearance to make her look more natural and beautiful to kids. That sounds familiar. The necklace was the main focus of this story. Just like the illusion discs and the pins, the necklace must have had the same technology that changed the appearance of Sarah to anyone within the range, even if she was just a pile of garbage. Every night, Eleanor sang her song to get her to fall asleep and had replaced a different part of her body with scraps. Because of the machinery of the necklace, she and everybody else was fooled 
and it led to her demise. And this is just one story of how the illusion machines were used to manipulate kids and kill them. There are surely many more. So what's the real moral of this story? It's to remember that you are beautiful in so many people's eyes and that being yourself is the best thing you can be. So leave this video remembering way more people care about you than you think. I know I do. And one final word, don't you dare call me a simp in the comments. With the story of Sarah and the giraffe genie in the lamp and the sneaky machinery hidden away in after the robotics, this mystery remains unsolved.